Okay, folks, it's your buddy Mike Messier. We have a very special What's in the Box. It's uh, Pro Wrestling Tees. Uh, as some of you might know, I have a subscription. You know, and I thought I'd just kind of do a little bit of an unusual What's in the Box. You know, people do these unboxing videos for Pro Wrestling Tees, and sometimes they share them. I guess my opinions have been a little too um, honest. You know, like when I, when I got the Chris Jericho shirt, I kind of took issue with Chris Jericho's kind of uh, flagrant... Uh, disregard of masking, uh, you know, suggestions, I guess you'd call it, not mandates, but I'm honest, if I get a shirt and I'm not too thrilled, I'd say it, but I'm having a good day so far, it's Monday, I did notice that the, uh, you know, Derek, Sh this is going to be a video that goes into a few different places, folks, so strap in, Derek Chauvin trial's going on, um, you know, that's going to be a test, another test to our country, regardless of the, uh, outcome of this Derek Chauvin case, uh, you know, are we going to stick together as a country, hopefully, or, or come together? I don't know. But uh, it seemed to me like excessive force was used, obviously. No big brain surgeon on my part to say that. Okay, folks, we're going to see... In the, I, so far, it looks like we get a blue shirt and a black shirt. Now, I'm just doing the shirts. I just, I got sick of all the, the uh, micro ball brawlers and stuff. I do like the shirts. Um, I'm starting to like this one. I'm curious who the rest of it might be. It seems like a nice quality shirt. All these shirts are pretty much, I'm not, I'm not even sure who this is, guys. Uh, looks like, is that a CM Punk shirt? I think it is. It's a CM Punk shirt. So I've done a couple of videos on my thoughts on CM Punk. Um, you know, I've met CM Punk briefly, twice in my life, and uh, he was a nice guy. So I'll show that shirt again. It's actually a pretty cool shirt. If this gentleman ever steps back into the ring, I mean, he's got plenty of opportunity now. He's got choices. He's got uh, AEW, I'm sure. What do we have here? an advertisement or advertisement you ever hear people pronounce words differently like advertisement versus advertisement is it the same thing this one I'm, I'm getting a kick out of it looks like to be an mjf shirt so let's it's okay i mean i actually i kind of this shirt has like a non-wrestling feel to it in other words like it's not screaming i'm a wrestling shirt it's just I have a shirt. Maxwell Jacob Friedman. It looks like a, a, a rum or a brewery type of shirt. What is, what is it? It's got better than you. I See, I don't know. I don't think many people, no offense. To free, <laughs> it's a good shirt. I think it's more like this would be something to wear to a wrestling show. I, don't, I, I mean, it's, it's close. It's just... Um, I don't know if I'd walk around in public if it wasn't a pro wrestling show. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, I had a Road Warriors t-shirt, and uh, it was my, I don't know if you guys had gym clothes, and you'd kind of wear, like, it was kind of nasty if you think about it. You're supposed to, like, have the same gym clothes for a week and then get your clothes washed. They, they really should have had a better system. And I remember one year, 7th uh, or 8th grade, a... Uh, a friend of mine uh, forgot his gym shirt, and he asked me if he could borrow a gym shirt, and I said, sure. And I said, uh, I don't know if I gave him the combination of my locker and gym or what the fuck happened, but somehow he got a hold of my Road Warriors t-shirt. And it was this classic Road Warriors t-shirt with Precious Paul Ellering. And this friend, supposed friend, supposed fellow wrestling fan, actually ripped the, the back tag off the Road Warriors shirt, like the size... You know, that's when they used to have tags on every shirt. You know, like this shirt has a, 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 a stamped in tag, but back when you had like real tags and the kid ripped the fucking tag off and put the shirt on inside out because he was ashamed to wear a wrestling t-shirt, my wrestling t-shirt. So I still remember that and I'm offended. I'm offended on behalf of professional wrestling. I'm, I'm, be, I'm be offended on behalf of my shirt. So Scott Nyberg, that's for you, buddy. That's your little receipt. I didn't fucking forget.
that you ripped the goddamn shirt, uh, the tag off my Road Warrior shirt. I don't fucking forget. So, there you have it, folks. Uh, these shirts, I like the punk one, the Friedman one. It seems a little, um, it's not great, to be honest. It's, 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 it's kind of like, uh, I guess I like the punk one more. Uh, I don't know if this was a great month. I've had some great months. The Iron Sheik shirt, the Randy Savage shirt, the Dusty is pretty good. This, these shirts uh, feel a little slotted in, you know, placeholders. Just being honest, and I think that's because I share my honesty on these pro wrestling crate reveal boxes. The company doesn't choose to share my videos, you know, because they don't like the honesty. So just like in every professional wrestling company promotions, if you kiss ass, if you snuzzle up, if not, you're Bruiser Brody. You know, I'm the Bruiser Brody of this internet wrestling community. I don't kiss ass. I don't tell you to watch things that are boring. I don't tell you to support angles or storylines that are dog shit. I tell you to moderate your pro wrestling intake. So I'm looking out for you. I'm being honest and having integrity. Mike Messier.